What up, players? It is Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Welcome to a video showcasing more work from my studio, Warboss Tay Studios. We are looking at the Dark Lord, Sauron, the Evil Eye, the Big Bad from the Lord of the Rings novels, and uh, from the movies, of course, by Peter Jackson. So this is a model from Games Workshop, and it's for their Lord of the Rings line. It is a beautiful model, and it is so huge, too. Here's Boromir, and here's Gandalf, and... You can just see he's he's just so tall and massive compared to the two of them. And he should be. He's the big bad guy in the in the movies and in the story. Okay, so if you want to see how I got this black color scheme, the, the highlighted black black cloth, I think, is a really great technique to know. If you want to have this video in your collection forever, just download it to, to your computer. I have it set up in my store at warbostastudios.com under the ring rate, how to paint a ring rate. It's really basically how I paint black cloth. Now, I also paint black cloth using blue as a highlight, and you see the, the difference. The cloth on the Sauron model looks very dark and grungy and dirty and grimy, whereas the black on the Blood Angels Terminator Captain here looks a lot more rich, like velvet and full, and uh, you just get a totally different look by just altering your colors just a little bit and altering your color scheme. So for the Sauron model, you can tell that I did some very short strokes, targeted highlights. I took my lighter colors, which were Dawnstone and administratum gray and i really pointed out okay where are the the most prominent folds in the cloth where where can i really highlight the tips and the edges of the cloth to make it look really shredded and and haggard and you can see how i do all of that for yourself if you go to my website and download the tutorial it's only a dollar it's only 99 cents and like i said you can have it forever it'll it'll always be on your computer, it's uh, it's gonna be there forever, even if YouTube crashes and I disappear into the aether. So that's how I did that. And if you want to paint the dark iron, what I call dark iron, this is a very simple technique. You're gonna love it. It's basically lead belcher, shaded with known oil. Very important. You get that um, that shadow immediately by doing known oil, and then doing a second application of known oil in the lower areas. So. Uh, if you could see under his right arm, where uh, the underside of his arm is creating some some shadows there using known oil, a second application of known oil on the underside where the sun wouldn't hit, where the light would not hit. And then taking your seraphim sepia and creating interesting looking uh, tone difference, differences. So seraphim sepia is this beautiful kind of yellowish brown. And if I was to shade the entire model, just wash him in seraphim sepia, it would look really like dirty, oily, and not what we want. But if you target certain areas like on his ch chest plate in the uh, recesses or where the spines of that webbing on the plate armor is uh, the most prominent or in his shoulder pad armor lines, just find really deep pockets of shadow that you can add a little bit of seraphim sepia in and it will do wonders. It's really going to pop your model and make it look a lot more interesting than if it was just silver and black. Silver and black is so boring. Adding in a little bit of that dark yellow brown of seraphim sepia really really going to bump up your your model. And you could do Agrax Earthshade too. It's a very dark shade though and the seraphim sepia like I said has a little bit of that yellow tone to it which is going to uh, just make your model pop even more. And that's basically it. I didn't do too much highlighting on this guy. This is a war boss standard so I didn't go in too crazy with the highlights and also you wouldn't want your Sauron model with very stark highlights anyways. I mean if you look at the Games Workshop version of this model they painted what looks like Screaming Bell or um, a, a very red kind of brass metal on his armor and I just I didn't like it. It looks so odd, especially because I Google searched the heck out of Sauron and find, finding all these images from the movies and just trying to nail down the color of his armor. It is this dark iron that I think is just so characteristic. So that's how I do it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to cut it off at five minutes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.